Hello beautiful! Today I have a very exciting video. I'm going to be reviewing everything from this huge box. This is the Wet n Wild and Little Twin Stars collaboration. I know this collection is super cute and that's definitely one reason why you might be interested in picking it up. But I also know that you might be interested in how well it performs. If you're like me, you've had bad experiences with Wet n Wild. I didn't really ever use Wet n Wild because I always associated it with really bad quality makeup. So if you also have those concerns, then definitely stay tuned for this video because we are going to test out everything and see how well it performs. We're also going to check later on to see if this stuff is long wearing. I love doing beauty product review videos for you and I also love trying out new makeup so if you are also into that make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so that you will be reminded of when I post new content. I post new content almost every single day so you definitely don't want to hit that notification bell. Make sure to like this video if you are a Sanrio fan or if you are just digging this video throughout the video make sure to give it a thumbs up. It's really going to help out this channel and it's also going to help spread out this video to other people who are also interested in this collection. So without further ado, let's hop into this video. This is the humongous box. It is literally huge. Let's check out the full collection of this Wet n Wild and Little Twin Stars collaboration. You can find this in a few places. You can find this on Amazon, you can find some of the products on the Sanrio website, you can find it at Ulta, and you can find it at the Wet n Wild website. I would probably get it from the Amazon website because right now it's selling for $65.68 instead of the retail value of $74.99. So we're gonna first start off with this face mist. This is a glowing face mist. And you basically are supposed to use this to prep the skin. So it's supposed to be like a primer for your skin. This is supposed to refresh the skin and enhance your makeup with illuminating, light reflecting properties. It's got papaya extract, cold pressed coconut water, and dragon fruit extract to hydrate, brighten, and reduce the appearance of redness. Oh, so cute. Pretty much anything with this baby pink color, I'm gonna think is really cute and I'm gonna like it. I don't have high expectations for wet and wild makeup, especially when it comes to complexion products. So that's why I put the Gucci primer on just to kind of jazz everything up. Okay. Mm, that smells good. I really like the spray on this. It has a really fine mist. A lot of like setting sprays. Sometimes the mist is just not good. So I'm just pressing this into the skin. Kind of does smell like a hint of coconut mixed with dragon fruit. My face actually feels a little bit smoother. And this is going to add a little bit of hydration, which I don't need. I actually need less hydration right now because my face is um, more on the oily side. So hopefully, you know, this will not make us too hydrated. So I'm gonna let that sit on the skin for a little bit, soak it all up and we're gonna hop into the next product. We have two products here. We have the lip scrub, and then we have the Sweet Dreams lip mask. Literally everything in this collection is just so cute. Not many words, it's just cute. Oh, the top is kinda hard to take off. What's going on here? Oh, okay. Let's see how much is in here. That's how much product is in there. Huh. <sighs> this smells like candy. It smells like blueberry candy. I remember when I was a child, it's kind of reminding me of that scent. When I was first swiping it on my lips, it was just pure balm, and now it's starting to um, get more granular. Okay, it's getting even more grainy. Oh, I didn't even notice that my lips were turning blue. Do you want to smell this? Mm. Smells good, like candy. <laughs> That's what I said. Okay, overall, this was a nice product. I really enjoyed the slip scrub. Honestly, have no complaints about it. Now we're gonna move on to the lip mask. So this one smells like a mild down version of that. It kind of smells like a taffy, 
are like an airhead, same amount as the mask, as the lip scrub. Since this is a mask, I'm gonna apply a lot and just leave it on my lips until I'm ready to apply my lip product. Comparing it to the Love Nedge Lip Sleeping Mask, this one has a more tacky and sticky consistency. Definitely feels uh, a little cheap, but since it is a lip mask and we are going to wipe it off, hopefully um, that won't be an issue. Sponges. I don't know what to do with the packaging. I want to keep this because I feel like this is the cutest part of the collection. And I also want to keep the little like card that goes on the inside. I have no clue what to do with it. Most likely I'm going to throw it away, but I really wish I could find a purpose for this. So they are decently squishy. I'm going to go ahead and um, get this wet. It kind of just feels like styrofoam though. Okay, so this is what it looks like when it's wet. This is a good beauty sponge. I think I said this earlier in the video, but I had very low expectations for Wet n Wild, but this is probably one of the best sponges I have used. Yeah, this sponge is perfect. It has a really good bounce. It's definitely more on the squishier side. It, it's not firm whatsoever. As far as that sponge goes, I give it a straight 10 out of 10. This is a beauty sponge holder. Oh, I didn't think it was going to be this kind of material. It's this like rubbery material. I thought it was going to be like a hard plastic. So that's that makes it even better for storage because it's going to take up less space. This is so much cuter than I thought it was going to be. It's just rubber. It feels really nice. I've never seen a beauty sponge holder come in this kind of like rubbery material and then we just place our beauty sponges inside that's genius <laughs> oh my god I love it I have a chestnut praline latte one of my favorite drinks from Starbucks let me know down below what is your favorite holiday drink at Starbucks my favorite at the moment is the sugar cookie latte. It is so good. It tastes exactly like a sugar cookie. Overall, love a sponge. I have mentioned this other beauty sponge from Amazon. I've mentioned it a lot at this point. I love those beauty sponges, but these beauty sponges are better than that. So the Sanrio website is selling some of the makeup. They have the cutest keychains oh they have a little travel umbrella so cute cable management cords oh boy my heart the jewelry is so wow the jewelry is 74 dollars that's expensive so on the sanrio website the lip scrub and the um lip glosses are best sellers before i forget to say this i do want to say that the scents, um, once you stick around with it for a while, it does start to get a little bit sickening. So the beauty sponge is $10 and you get two. So Amazon is still cheaper because you get six for 10. But all in all, um, the makeup sponge, yeah, makeup sponge from Wet n Wild is, is a lot better than the end. Mm, a lot better because it's just, it's more squishier and I feel like it applies the product on my face a little bit faster than the Amazon ones. Contour and brows and then I'm gonna come back. It took me like 10 years, but you know, we got the brows on, the contour on. So let's move on. <sighs> Weird. I'm gonna do the eyeshadow look now. This is called the Candy Clouds palette. You can pick this palette up for $14.68 on Amazon. It contains 15 vibrantly colored eyeshadows. They are supposed to be easy to blend and you can get a variety of different color combinations. It's supposed to glide on smoothly and be bold and buildable. You've got buttery soft mattes, sparkly shimmers, gleaming satin, and self-adhering multi-dimensional glitter finishes. I'm gonna start off by applying primer because like I said, I have very low expectations of Wet n Wild. Back in the days when I was using Wet n Wild, Actually, I never used Wet n Wild, but when I was trying it out, it was absolutely horrible. I have been hearing more people talk about Wet n Wild lately, and I'm like, is this the same 
wet and wild that we're talking about. But so far, with everything I've tried so far, so far with everything I've tried so far, um, it's been working all right. So we'll, we shall see how it goes. I'm gonna set my eyes with powder. This just makes my eyeshadow look a lot smoother. Really good tip, if you wanna make your eyeshadow look the best and really smooth, make sure you top it off with powder. Someone said that you don't need to apply powder when you're using a primer. That's not true. Every time I use powder after primer, my eyeshadow always turns out so much nicer and smoother looking. I'm gonna be using the brush here. It seems like it's a crease brush and a blending brush. The bristles are made with synthetic fibers. So I'm gonna start off with the transition shade. This packaging though, it's kind of scary like when it closes. So the packaging is definitely like on the cheaper side, but it's like okay because it's so cute. Whoa, child, there is so much fallout in here. Like I said, I do not have very high expectations. Also, when I was doing swatches of these shadows, they um, are definitely very chalky. Mm. Okay. Maybe I just tapped off too much. Okay, not getting really any color with that. Just gonna dab it in and then swipe. Hopefully that'll give me some more color. It's pretty identical to my skin tone. The brush is nice, it's soft. I am starting to see a little bit more color. I don't know if you could tell right here. So let's see if this is buildable. I'm gonna pick up a little bit more. Okay, I am getting a little bit more color, so. I'm just gonna have to deepen it up and then not take off, not um, tap off too much powder before applying. Ooh, it's actually soft. The texture isn't too bad. I expected just everything to feel like chalk, but um, it's not bad. I now wanna kind of build up the purple in my crease, so I'm gonna go in with the lightest shade of purple. And again, I'm not gonna dust off too much. And I'm gonna focus this in my crease area. The pigment is pretty bad. Not, Let's see if I press it into the skin. Yeah, it's probably better to like press it into the skin and then blend it in. So we are, we're picking up a little bit of color. It's not too bad. I'm gonna go in again. So good thing is it is buildable. So far I haven't gotten any fallout, but I think that is because I am pressing the product into my skin. I feel like if I just put it on there without pressing it in, I probably would get some fallout. So now I'm definitely seeing a lot more color. That's definitely a pastel purple like it is in the pan. The pan is a little bit more on the muted side though, not as pastel -y. And then I'm gonna go in with the deepest shade here. So with this eyeshadow palette, I love how many looks are in this palette. You have purples, sky blues, you have nude shades that you can go for, pinks, and you have these white champagne shimmery shades. I love how many looks they put into this one palette. I think that was um, a really good idea. Wow, I'm getting pretty good pigment and no fallout. If you do not mind having to build up your shadows, and if you don't mind having a lot of fallout in the pan, then um, this is a really good palette. Yeah, overall, I'm really liking these eyeshadows. I was not even expecting to get this color. Um, it's a little bit lighter than the color in the palette. I'm gonna actually try to get it wet. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it does. Now I'm gonna go in to my outer corner and apply the deepest shade. Yeah, literally everything is fragranced. Wow, this is not bad. I am very impressed. Look how deep that brown is. I'm gonna finish off this look with a shimmery shade on top of my lid. The shimmery shades are definitely the ones that are the most chalky. Let's see how this goes. I don't know if that matches very well. You do have to be a little careful because I did get a little fallout, but on this side, I didn't get any fallout. I really like the shimmery shades. I think I will probably use the shimmery shades um, a little bit more but I need to kind of 
blend out my crease a little bit better. I'm gonna get my pencil brush damp and I'm gonna go in with this shade. Okay, that's a nice highlight shade. I am quite happy with that. I almost forgot, I'm gonna use this white eyeliner and I'm gonna see how well this will work for my waterline, my lower waterline. Whoa, that is pigmented. I can't believe how pigmented that is. Oftentimes when I apply these cream liners under my waterline, they tend to just like wash away very quickly, but this one is like stuck. I don't know how I was able to do it, but I feel like I kind of turned this eye look into a glam look, even though I'm using Wet n Wild. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this Wet n Wild Complexion Trio palette. I'm gonna be using the blue one because we're going with like a colder look right now. Each one comes in, comes with a blush, a highlighter, and a glitter topper. All right, going in with the blush, I'm gonna be also using the powder brush. Whoa. There's so much fallout. The brush is okay. It's nice, but it doesn't it doesn't do the best job at blending. It's a nice color. I like it. But just like the eyeshadows, there's a lot of fallout in the pan. Lots of fallout. Now this brush also says it can be used for highlight, so I'm gonna go into this blue highlight that I'm really excited for. I'm gonna apply this on my cheekbones. Oh wow. That's nice. I'm surprised I was able to achieve that. I obviously would use a much smaller highlighting brush for my highlight, but this isn't bad. If anything, I'd rather use this brush for a high highlighting brush instead of a powder brush, instead of a blush brush. Let's apply a little bit on our nose. I knew I was on a highlighter kick. That highlight looks really good. So now I have a blue highlight, very unique. I don't have any blue highlight, so I will probably be reaching in for this um, a lot. I actually want to put um, some blush on my nose. Hmm. I like it. Mm. Kind of cute. I ended up getting a little moon on here. I'm also impressed with this topper as well. It applies very nicely. Yeah, so overall, um, these palettes are good as well. I'm very impressed with the blush. The pigmentation is great. The highlights are beautiful. They really exceeded my expectation. And I love the toppers as well. I love how, like the toppers has moons and stars in it so i love that definitely play makeup everything has performed very well my only complaint i would say is all the fallout that comes in the pan but i'm surprised that there was hardly any fallout um on my eyes because i've used other more expensive eyeshadow palettes and got a lot more fallout from those i'm sad to say that we are wrapping up this video we are now heading on to the lip products this collection has been really fun i've enjoyed seeing how well everything has worked because like I said, um, Wet n Wild just used to have very bad makeup. Kind of felt like um, this was just going to be sitting in my makeup drawer. I wasn't going to be using it, but that's not true whatsoever. I'm gonna be using the shimmery shades in that palette. I'm gonna be using the highlights from this palette. I'm also gonna be using the toppers. I think the only thing I might not use that often is the face mist spray, but that's only because I don't really need the hydration. I forgot to show this though, the brush holder. I was like most excited for this because I knew this could do no wrong. And I don't know where I would put this. I think once I have like my own makeup room, I'll put this on my vanity. Love it! I'm so happy with everything. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the lips. Let's see how our lips feel after I just removed the mask. They feel soft. So I'm gonna start off with the pink, like, fuchsia magenta shade. And that's actually not bad. So this is like a bright pink. 
That's cute. And then we will put the pink glitter on top of it. Whoa, that's really glittery. Okay, so the lip products kind of take me back to how Wet n Wild used to be. Um, just feels, it actually, it doesn't feel too bad on my lips, but the quality is, it almost feels like it's just putting paint on my lips. But it actually feels quite comfortable. Um, I really do like this color as well. Just a nice fuchsia color that will be really good for spring. Um, and the topper is nice too. It's actually not that glittery. When you apply it, it's just like straight glitter. But then once you apply it on top of your lips, it's not not that glittery. So it's definitely wearable. If I didn't have other fuchsia lipstick colors, I would definitely uh, use this during the springtime. So now I'm going to go with this color and I think this is the color I'm going to end up with. Like if I were to get any of the lip products, I would definitely go for the lip scrub and the lip mask. I don't, I'm not a big fan of the lip mask. Oh, whoa, I just pumped out a lot. Do not put, push the wand in and out like I just did. I don't know why I did that. The consistency is very, very thin and like, just feels very, very, very cheap. It has this soft matte feel to it but it's not drying. And you can build up the color. The quality of it feels cheap, but then once you apply it on your lips, um, you almost could barely feel it. It doesn't feel drying like most matte lipsticks do. So I think all in all, this is a fairly good product and you're getting really good pigmentation. It's almost identical to the way it looks in the package. So with that said, despite how cheap it feels, um, I still rate it pretty high because most matte lipsticks, you know, are drying. Sometimes the color is a little bit off, but this one's nice. And I did exfoliate my lips beforehand, so that definitely does help. But I, even after exfoliating, some matte lip products have made my lips still look wrinkly and dry. This is not really giving me that effect. So overall, I do, I do like the lip product. And I think if you're looking for um, a matte lipstick that is not drying and if you would like to get these colors then I would recommend it so now we're gonna top it off with this glittery top coat it still has a lot of that fragrance so if you're not a fragrance person then you have to really be careful with this because the fragrance is very strong okay I just gonna put that in the center of my lips because I feel like this one is a little bit more shimmery. Yeah, I, I actually really do, I do like it. I think I like the purple one a little bit more. It's more unique for me. And I feel like I would actually use these at some point, maybe for like play makeup or like a festival kind of event, um, Halloween. I would definitely use this color. That wraps up this review. I am very, very happy with everything. I'm happy that everything worked out because I do want to continue using this. And I think out of all of the makeup collections I've had so far, this definitely has the cutest packaging. The, I love that they put the characters on the packaging. All of the packaging has the characters on it. ColourPop, they don't always put the characters on it. They'll just put like shapes and stuff like that. So it just, it doesn't feel as special. But even with the palette here, it has all the adorable characters on it. Everything is fully decked out. Like the lid is decorated. The tube has the characters. It has so much going on. So it's really fun using all of these products. And I'm so much more impressed than I thought I would be with this set. If this is long lasting, I will come back in later. I'll probably just like leave it in the description or in the comments and let you know how all of this stuff wears throughout the day. But if it is long wearing, I would probably give everything like a nine out of 10. And that's crazy, cause it's wet and wild. I thought I was, I don't know, I thought I was gonna be bad. Like I said, the only con at this point that I have is the fallout 
in the pan. That's it. Also, I'm the type of person where I don't like having to build up my eyeshadows, so I do prefer the eyeshadows um, to be pigmented off the first swipe. But if that doesn't bother you and you don't worry, you don't care about having to build up your products, then you're gonna be totally fine with the eyeshadow. I would say about three swipes, I was able to get it to the pigment that is almost identical to the way it looks in the eyeshadow pad. That is it. For this video, I'm gonna get out of here because it's a really long video. Lots of stuff here. Um, like I said, I highly recommend this set. It's so cute. You've got stuff here that you could use fairly on a mm, daily basis. Actually, maybe not. At least there's some nude shades in here you can use on a daily basis. You can use the brushes on a daily basis. The sponges on a daily basis there are, so there are some products in here you can use on a daily basis you can also use the blushes as well half of the other stuff is more play makeup festivals costumes halloween that is it for this video if you enjoyed it make sure to give it a thumbs up and also make sure to subscribe because i am always reviewing new content and if the new makeup releases are super cute like this one I am most likely going to review it, so make sure you just subscribe to the channel and also hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified um, of when I post those videos. And yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in another one. Bye!